What's up guys, Theo here, and just a video, just, th this video is going to be different, I don't normally do videos like this, but I thought there was a need to do it, and I know my voice probably won't get heard, but hopefully, hopefully someone from Black Box EA Canada, or anywhere from EA, will see this video, um, and, and, you know, consider this, because, it, personally, to me, I really hope this, this could happen in the future, if it's not already happened already, I don't even know. Maybe they're making the next Need for Speed and we don't know about it. But here we go. Let me just get straight to the point. So this video is about EA Black Box. EA Black Box is a studio. Um, it's basically a sister company of EA Canada. Um, it could also be said part of. So EA Canada is like a, a big studio of like how many people? 3,000 which is including EA Black Box um, and they are in charge of multiple series um, the series that they are in charge of um, NHL, FIFA, Need for Speed um, also which is EA Black Box Skate which is also EA Black Box so these are the, those are the, you know, the games that, um, that EA Canada make so let me just go over a couple of games that they made on their own because as we know Need for Speed gets passed around EA every now and again um, no, you know new developers try something um, they get in charge and you know whatever so let me just get to it I'll list a couple of games that aren't Need for Speed but the bulk which are list last are the Need for Speed ones which I want you to pay attention to because there's something I didn't know so NHL 2K that was on the Dreamcast. I'm not going to list all the systems, but that's one of them. And my headset's beeping that it's out of battery. <laughs> um, so you've got Sega, Soccer Slam, um, more NHL, Skate, that sort of thing. But here we go. This is the list that I actually want you to listen to the most. So, so you know, get the earwax out your ears and be ready. <laughs> so here are the games that I want you to listen to. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 Need for Speed Underground Need for Speed Underground 2 Need for Speed Most Wanted Need for Speed Carbon Need for Speed Pro Street Need for Speed Undercover Need for Speed World Need for Speed The Run Now I want you to take two minutes Not even that I want you to take a minute a second to just think of all those games of Need for Speed that I listed. Those are all the best Need for Speed games in my view. Underground, Underground 2, Most Wanted, Carbon and The Run, or under Undercover you could say. Now, showing that list to anybody, you know, at least one of the games will be one of, you know, your friend's favourite childhood games or one of one of them, you know, not the best, but up there. You know, each one brought something new, you know, or not all of them, but most of them <laughs> brought something new to the table for the new Need for Speed series. Even the non-Need for Speed games brought something new to these series. Um, if you look at Underground, you know, it, it brought, you know... <sighs> I didn't really... Play, okay, I'm going to add something quickly. I didn't really play the Need for Speeds before Underground, but as far as I'm aware, Underground bought, you know, amazing graphics for that time, you know, a crazy amount of customization, pretty much everything to the table. Then Underground 2 came out, open world, you know, a story behind it. And then Most Wanted comes out, crazy amount of story, crazy open world, you know, carbon increasing on that, Pro Street, eh. I wouldn't go that far, but it was still a good game. You know, Undercover tried to carry on what Carbon and Most Wanted started, but it didn't do an amazing job. Then The Run. The Run. Sorry, the, I forgot one then. World. Need to be World. Uh, you know, a big open world game that, you know, a lot of people it still enjoy to this day. And I want to get on at one point because it, it looks brilliant, but I just don't have the time at the minute. Um, and The Run. Now, The Run is a brilliant game, and it's so, so underrated, and that does my head in, because that was pretty much Black Box last game, and I'll go into that a bit more later on, as far as I know it is, anyway. So, excuse me if you're here clicking, but I'm actually clicking between pages, because um, I need to read some articles and such as well. So, there's a lot of different things that, that can be said, 
but there was uh, an article on Eurogame in 2010 leading up to the release of the run um, saying that Criterion um, I think it, it was Criterion Slightly Mad Studios and Black Box were supposed to be working on Need for Speed together so you know they'd have two to three years to make their games so kind of like Call of Duty do it but it seems something has changed um, you know 2012 this I think it was last year now um, EA pretty much announced that Criterion are in charge of the Need for Speed series. Now, I don't, they didn't really explain what that means, but what it means is, you know, they are in charge of it. There was no thing saying that they could give it out to other people to do, you know, because that basically means then, if it's up to them, and going with the thing that they said before, they wanted to make Need for Speed an annual series... They're going to be making Need for Speed every year. They're going to be using the same engine. The same thing for years and years and years. That's not how it's supposed to go. 12 months, 10 months or whatever it is. They usually have 8 to 10 months if it's a year development. That's not long enough to create a Need for Speed game. You know we all... I can say it a million billion times but you're not going to listen. You know... We want story. We want customization. We want, you know, custom vinyl. We want the, the works. We want everything from the old games. And you can't provide that by the looks of things criterion. Look back at all your current games. Is there anything like Need for Speed? None of them are. None of them at all. EA were actually, you know, getting into my good books at one point. They, they, they had an interview with Eurogamer. I'm going to bring it up a few times. And basically, they were saying, that, you know, that they wanted to make an annual series between three developers. You know, Criterion is completely different to Black Box, meaning their games are going to be completely different to Black Boxes. You know, Black Box goes for a more amazing, you know, in you know you feel like you're in the experience type of game whereas Criterion makes an arcade thing where you fly around the corner at 10 miles an hour and drift like you're ringing you know you, you're running on ice it's just not no it doesn't go <laughs> but whatever you want that, that's that's fine with me getting away with a black box yeah cool good good job good freaking job so let's go on, go on with another part um, looking at the Need for Speed wiki page, now obviously Wikipedia is not an amazing, um, uh, reliable source all the time, but on the Need for Speed page it says developers, EA Canada 2004 to 2001, EA Black Box um, 2002 to 2011. Slightly Mad Studios, 2009 to present. Criterion Games, 2010 to present. Um, Ghost Games, 2012 to present. Now, if you're wondering who Ghost Game is, uh, game, Ghost Games are a studio. Um, I'm gonna, I've brought up their website. Um, let me just quickly... They've got an about page. It really, really doesn't explain anything about the company. But this is what they want us to know, apparently. Ghost Games is a new studio... A new EA studio located on the west coast of Sweden. Gothenburg is Sweden's second largest city with a population of about 1 million people. This charming location was chosen because of the palenthra, I can't even say that, of highly talented game developers that can be found in parts of Sweden and its southern regions. Now, European developers, they're spot on. They're brilliant. They do their job. But, you know... Then you look at the job listings, you know, they've got, they're hiring, they've got four vacancies, they've got audio designer, audio engineer, development director, and software engineer. So, I don't know what's going on with that. They've been, they've been, you know, spoken about or announced in 2012. So, I'm hoping, to bloody God, that they started developing the new Need for, their new Need for Speed at the same time as um, Criterion started developing theirs, which would mean Criterion's was a bit of a, you know what, it's coming soon, we'll, we'll, we'll just throw this out, testing our engine on Burnout. Because if you didn't know, Criterion make Burnout as well, it's w and that's what I think they should stick to, because they do a good job at it, but they shouldn't 
they shouldn't make Need for Speed. It's not ethical. <laughs> so, um, let's just read this thing on Black Box right here. This this part, honestly, I'm, I'm going to be truthful with you here. I was reading this, um, and and I didn't know this until I started recording and had to stop because people were making noise. Yeah, you. Um, I had to stop and I and I read some more and I saw it and I was like, what? That no, that can't be right. Why would you do that? <laughs> so. EA Black Box announced on the 19th of December 2008 that it would be shutting down its Vancouver studio location, blah 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 blah, so whatever. They basically shut down and lost a couple of people, which is sad, I know, but we're going to get to the more important part. The Need for Speed series is now being led by Criterion Games, makers of the Burnout series. While EA Canada and Black Box are uh, restructuring and refocusing towards online and free to play games. Now, by online, I don't think they mean multiplayer of console games. I think they mean Facebook games, Need for Speed World, and other stuff. And that makes me very sad face. What a waste of talent! You know, yes, mo mobile gaming and social gaming is on its way up, but consoles are where they should be. They're the best Need for Speed developer and I can say 90% of the people that love the Need for Speed series will agree with me on this. You should have sent Criterion to make mobile games. They should have made it and Criterion oh, don't even get me started. Their games are arcade enough as it, is, as it is. Burnout Paradise could probably run on Facebook. So why don't you just send them there? You know, Black Box changed their game. They make... Look at Need for Speed Most Wanted and compare it to Burnout Paradise. What's the difference? Slightly bigger map, less jumping about and stuff. Um, you know, billboards have been replaced with other types of billboards, and it's got licensed cars. That's it. What's the difference? <laughs> Explain to me. Look, Black Box isn't going to be making Need for Speed anymore, as far as we're aware. For the consoles, I don't know. This ghost studio, this ghost games, better be pulling something out their bloody asses that are, is very good. Otherwise, what are we going to do? Because there's going to be no other street racing series. Yeah, there's Forza Horizon. Yay, whipsy freaking do that. Who plays? And it's crap. Test Drive Unlimited, dead. The developers have gone. They're sunk. You know... There's pretty much nothing else. THQ is gone. No more Juiced games. Juiced 2 was a pile of garbage, but the first one was great. You know, I'm having to look at my game pile list. There's none. The only bloody street racer left will be, for me, Midnight Club, which releases whenever it bloody wants to, like every five years. And GTA. <laughs> you have to class that as a street racer. You have to really dig for it. You know... The, the market is freaking drowning in first-person shooters. Why can't you do that with racers? Oh, Gran Turismo. Oh, Forza. Oh, this. Uh, uh. That's not street racing. That's not upgrading, you know, putting neons underneath your car and showing off in front of your mates and everything. That is not what... That's not the same series. It's not. You know, it's pretty much like saying first-person and third-person action games are pretty much the same, if you think of it logically. <sighs> Yay. Please tell me Ghost is good. And let me just, just make this directly to Black Box for now, because this video was pretty much for Black Box. Black Box, thank you very much for your amazing games. You know, as far as, as, far as I'm aware, your games will always be the best, you know, Most Wanted, Carbon, Underground 2, those are the games that people remember. And I'll remember, you know, Need for Speed World, Need for Speed The Run, Need for Speed Undercover, you know, we'll all remember those games. And even if you start to make social games and such, we know it's pretty much a waste of talent because you are an amazing studio that can do much, much more. And you know, hopefully as everything progresses, 
you get a chance to have a throw at Gaikai or something, you know, that, that, that class is on, is online, right? But I, I, it's it's a real shame that they had to let you drop pretty much the series and Criterion take over. I, I've made lots and lots of videos saying this, but, but like, I didn't know that they were pretty much, EA were telling you to work towards online and free to play. EA might not be doing this, you might be choosing to do this. If it's your decision, go ahead with it, keep at it, but thank you very much for the three amazing Need for Speed games, and I can only hope that you do return to this series one day. But anyway, there's pretty much nothing on Wikipedia about ghost games. They have a website which pretty much tells bugger all about them, um, except that they're in Sweden in a very nice location with about one million people living there. Like that helps us all, as us at all. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to wait till E3 to hear some more about it. But for now, thank you, Black Box. There's only so much I can say. I've just there's nothing left in my head. And Criterion, this is for you. Please don't make this burnout. You know, it's supposed to be a yearly series. I don't care if it's not going to be a yearly series. I just want good Need for Speed games. Don't make it Burnout. You've got Burnout. That's cool. That's nice. If people want Burnout, they will buy Burnout. Don't use Need for Speed to test your new Burnout engine like you did with Most Wanted. It it does, you know, affect us. It makes us think less and less of the series and we won't buy it. Maybe you're doing this to make Need for Speed sell less and Burnout sell more. I don't know what your tactic is, but don't destroy this series it is brilliant i i've grown up with it i'm still living with it now most of my content on youtube is need for speed and there's a reason for that you did a good job with most wanted but it wasn't good enough i don't care if you had eight months i don't care if you had 24 months i don't care if you had five years to make that need for speed you fucked up you fucked up and you and hoping you can accept that I'm glad that you know you, you've made your engine streamlined across all platforms, but maybe add something in that actually makes it need for speed and not burnout. We'll have to see later in the year when these games are announced. The last Need for Speed didn't get announced at E3, I don't think. I think they had a little private conference after, which was okay, I guess. But look, thanks everyone for watching and Black Box. I love you. <laughs> I'm, I do. It's just the thing. And hopefully, hopefully Ghost Games does something. And Slightly Mad Studios, fuck off. I'll see you in the next video, guys. And thanks for watching. If you did, peace. Yo. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Turn everything up tomorrow. The drums, you know.